Hello everybody, Moto Noriko here, back with another gaming video for y'all. Once again, it's the game Ride we're gonna play, but this time it's Ride number 2. So let's get right into it, shall we? Alright, I can tell you that this time we're playing the full version. It was pretty cheap actually at the Steam uh, discount this Black Friday, so that's cool. Alright, so I'm gonna actually learn from my previous uh, experience in this game. Well, the Ride 1, of course and ch actually change the control before getting into the race because I have a tingling sensation that the, the key is gonna be the same setup by default as the first one which I did not like at all I got really confused with the keys if you haven't checked that video out do it then you watch this video and in just a couple of days there will be a third video trying out ride number three where is the keys what is this? So you can't even change the keys? Honestly guys, I don't know what the... You can't change the keys. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> oh my god. Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna have to try this out then. What? Oh, I guess that's it. Oh, great, great. So this is this is how they do it now. I'm not even allowed to change the key layout. This is pretty messed up. If the first one was messed up, this is messed up. <laughs> oh man, they also changed the keys themselves because. In the previous version, the brake was on the seat, and now it's on the alt, I guess. Or where is it? Yeah, it's on the alt. <sighs> Alrighty then. So I'm giving throttle with A and braking with the left alt key. And I guess I just have to kind of get used to it if I'd like to try out this game. That kind of sucks, you know, I think that uh, this has to be one of the first game in history ever where the game is all about driving something and you can't even change the keys to control whatever you're driving. That's unheard of. Or is it? Let me know in the comment down below. As you can see, I really really suck at this game or this game really really suck. I'm not gonna be too harsh yet. At least this game runs more smoothly. The sound of the engine is still pretty lame, actually. Don't really like it. I, I don't know, guys. I'm sorry if I sound like very pessimistic and negative towards these games. Maybe it's just that I just love riding a bike in real life so much that everything else simply can't compare. And of course also you actually need to put some time into the game to really get to know it. The physics, the controls and everything. And since I'm trying this out for the very first time, that's not really what's happening, is it? I'm not sure if I got to play this a couple of hours more. It will be better. Mm, great. <laughs> Look at that, <laughs> did you see that person? Standing there with their arms crossed, just looking at me like, Dude, what the... You're supposed to be a professional motorcycle racer. And you're laying here in the gravel in front of my feet. Come on, dude. Look at all these people, they're not even looking at me, they're just looking straight ahead into the, <laughs> into the empty road. I don't know about you guys, but if I would be spectating actually any kind of event, a motorcycle race or a football game or whatever. A oh, game of soccer. I kind of would turn towards the action and not just stand there like a frosty the snowman staring just straight ahead because that doesn't give me too many seconds of actions to actually watch does it crash crashes. 
<laughs> he just like lay down. Oh, I, I, I had it. I don't want it. I don't want to do this anymore. Well, I finished at least. Here I am. In the bottom. All right, continue. Let's see what's going on. A bike's soul reflects its rider's personality. Which bike are you? <gasps> Which bike am I? Alrighty, guys. So these are the four bikes I can choose from. To be honest, spontaneously, I would actually like to choose this uh, KTM 690 Super Duke. I guess it is. For all of you who speak English, you know this bike as a Husqvarna. But actually, it's a Swedish bike and it's uh, pronounced Husqvarna. Or if you say it like where I'm from is Skåne, you just say Husqvarna. <laughs> Scrambler. And this is a pretty cool classic Honda NSR. I actually like this a lot. Also. Uh, so. Oh, kind of hard choice. Let's give this classic a chance. Um, let's go. Minimalist lines without losing out on performance. Yeah. But look at that exhaust though. <laughs> That's what I would call in Swedish an ätrör. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're talking. Hello, baby. Alright, guys, so here I am with my new Moa cycle, the Honda NSR. Now we're able to change the control. So that doesn't really make sense. Why would you have to go for one entire race with messed up controls that you really don't like at all before you can actually change them? That's not too good, guys. Not too good at all. <laughs> it sounds like a maxed out moped. <laughs> Alright, I have to say that I like the game a lot better with my own controls, so thumbs up for that. This angle is quite cool, guys. <laughs> Whoops, so I guess it's pretty good to start out with this a little bit smaller bike, since you won't reach this insane speeds which also makes it of course easier to control the bike at this more reasonable speeds like 130 km per hour and 450 looks like a picnic in the park compared to 300 <laughs> i'm sorry guys to me this is just pretty boring actually you're just going round and round and round you don't feel anything you're just sitting here Pressing these buttons, even if it looks pretty good, even if the controls would be freaking awesome, you don't feel the speed, you don't feel the rush. Well, okay, this angle is a bit better at that, I would say. Alright, so yeah. So this is the angle you should go with if you'd like to get some more action out of this game. Gives more sense of realness, because when you look at the back from behind, you just, you, you kind of lose all the sensation of speed and, and all that feeling what that the motorcycle is all about so. this actually was pretty cool so you can take it one step further and see it all from inside the helmet so these guys is what you actually see more or less when you're riding nice no, I guys let me rate this game for y'all I'm gonna give the gameplay 6 out of 10 the controls, well, once you set them up, they were all right. But since you can't actually set them up, if you don't complete one race, I'm gonna keep them at. Uh, oh my god. Just because of that face plant, I'm gonna give the controls 3 out of 10. The graphics, it's alright. It looks pretty good, it doesn't, it's not photorealistic of course, it's not a new game and uh, I don't, didn't expect that. It is however a bit better than the, the first one, uh, slightly I would say, and it runs a lot more smoothly on my iMac, so I'm gonna give the graphics 6 out of 10. The story, mm, 
don't know, I'm gonna give to that blank also. The sound is still pretty crappy to be honest. The, the engine sound. Alright, the engine sound of this one is pretty good, but the, the previous Yamaha I was running, it was shit, hey. So, 3 out of 10, the music. Uh -oh. 2 out of 10 because I did hear some dubstep, I like that, so. Let me present you the average up here. And that will end this video, guys. Tune in shortly to see the final video where I'm gonna try out the ride free thanks guys for watching if you haven't already subscribe follow me on instagram and i see you soon ciao